Chain backstabs in Dark Souls Remastered are a pain in the ass for almost every newcomer because not only you have to deal with less than perfect netcode and the bullshit of being pulled into the backstab animation 5 feet away from your opponent but you also have to deal with the mumbo jumbo backstab follow up. We can all agree that not knowing how to deal with it is pretty frustrating and in most cases if you're new to the game not only you're not doing the right thing because you don't know any better but you're also making it a lot worse for yourself by doing some other things that you shouldn't be doing. I'm certain that chain backstabs generate a ton of salt among newcomers, but I'm also sure that if you complain about them, you either don't know what to press, or you're pressing way too much of the stuff that prevents you from pressing the buttons that you need to press. Well, you should be happy because you got me and this video to help you, help you to enjoy the chain backstab mechanic, because it is actually fun, but more on that a bit later. To make this video work, we have to split it in three parts. First half will be top 10 mistakes that people do on wake up that leave them vulnerable to chain backstabs. The other half will be top 10 things that you have to do in order to protect yourself from chain backstabs. And the third half will cover the fun element, the thing that makes chain stabs fun, the mind games. First up, the things that most newcomers get wrong. They press all the wrong buttons on wake up and all of them are equally bad. Some people try to roll forward, away from their opponent, so as soon as they regain control of their character after the backstab, they try to roll away from the danger, trying to escape the heat. And that is exactly what gets you chained. Don't do that. No panic rolls. The next worst thing that I see people do is blocking on wake up. Again, it's the same deal. This exact thing is gonna get you chained for sure. Number 3. Attacking. This one isn't quite bad, but it is still very risky. especially if you're using a slower weapon I wouldn't recommend you doing that and in most cases you're just gonna get obliterated for it. So if all things like blocking on wake up and rolling forward aren't the things that you want to be doing if you want to protect yourself from chain stabs then what is my advice? What's the best course of action if you want to avoid the wake up backstab? What are the best buttons to press? Well, the answer is quite tricky. The chain backstab meta is an ongoing Yomi game with your opponent, and most of the effective wake up options can be countered if your opponent gets a read. Nonetheless, you have to be using these real options and getting a good guess as to what type of chain your opponent will attempt. When you're trying to protect yourself from chain backstabs, it is important to understand that there isn't one option that covers all bases. If you wake up the same way every time, even if your wake up tech covers the most of the common chain stab options, your opponent can get a good read on it and still put you in a bad situation, even if it isn't bound by another backstab. So you will need a different counter to each specific chain stab type. The options that we covered today are good enough to keep you safe in most situations. Another important thing to keep in mind is the latency deviation. There are actually many different good and safe ways to avoid chain stabs, but some of them work a bit better with lower latency than the others. To eliminate confusions, I will be presenting only the foolproof options for this video. The ones that work on medium to super high latency. So let's get into it. The first and the easiest way to protect yourself is just standing still and that's it. Doing nothing is actually effective, all thanks to the effort of developers aimed to protect you from chain backstabs. Every time you get backstabbed in Dark Souls Remastered, you're forced to get up from the ground and getting up without pressing anything automatically grants you a complete 100% backstab immunity. However, it gets cancelled if you press anything, so if you just don't press anything anything on wake up, you will be immune to backstab pools and your opponent will whiff their backstab attempt. Not only this makes you safe from chain stab shenanigans, it also leaves your opponent vulnerable for the punish if they happen to press R1 and whiff it, attempting to chain stab you. And this is the biggest and most fun argument for people that think that chain stabs are cancer, bug, glitch and all that stuff. Because there is an actual backstab immunity in place for every wake up put there by developers from day one. All these people complaining about chain stabs being broken didn't even bother to try to just do nothing and see if there is an immunity in place. Just shows you how ignorant people can be, especially the ones that are most vocal. Now the next best way to avoid chain stabs on medium latency is the back roll. Lock onto your opponent as soon as you regain control of your character, push the stick backwards and tap the roll button. Not forward away from danger, not sideways, just back. If you do everything correctly, your opponent will just whiff their shitty chain stab attempt, which will grant you a window to punish them. And that's it. 
pretty much all the tech that you need in order to be safe from chain stabs. You either roll back or just stand still without pressing anything. It is very simple yet super effective. At this point you can tell that chain stabs aren't really difficult to avoid, like at all, and people that complained about them are just being silly. But you're probably wondering why did I say that chain stabs are fun? What's the fun element here? Well, the fun comes from the fact that in order for your opponent to chain stab you, they have to get around the build-in immunity, and to do so they have to use mind games. Even the standstill, as safe as it is, can be countered with a little trick of attacking your opponent on wake up since you can cancel the immunity with some damage. But not only that, standstill is actually susceptible to kicks and being kicked on wake up puts you in a really bad situation. In other words, as I have said it earlier, there is no 100% sure way to avoid chain stabs, however your opponent has to get a good read or a good guess on you in order to execute it and that's the fun part. Normally the easiest chains involve catching panic rolls, so you just line yourself at their back and look for that R1 or just buffer it into parry. You can be a bit more elaborate and try to predict the direction that they will take with their wake up roll and get the chain this way. However, countering standstill is a lot harder and requires more effort, especially when you consider that a counter to standstill loses to wake up back roll. The chain stab meta operates on reads and there is a huge risk associated with it, since failing the chain stab and not cancelling your R1 can potentially put you in a very bad situation. So if your opponent is fishing for the basic panic roll chain stab, you can punish them pretty damn hard by just not doing anything and waking up without pressing a button. But if your opponent is good, you will have to be making reads. Well, they will also have to make good reads, that's the whole point. Anyway, let's sum this whole gig up in several simple points. Number 1. Chain stabs can occur only if the backstab immunity is cancelled. Number 2. Doing anything on wake up cancels the immunity. Number 3. Waking up with back roll or no inputs is very effective in most instances, even at super high latency. Number 4. In order to be completely safe, you have to mix up your wake up options to keep your opponent guessing. Number 5. Mind games are fun because it makes your autistic Dark Souls PvP experience seem more like a legitimate fighting game experience and that's cool. Number 7. Um, profits? Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section. I'll do my best to help you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you.